In the last video, I showed you uh, very awkwardly how to get M plus up and running, get your data um, entered from SPSS or from Excel, and to run it without errors, and we covered a few of those errors. In this video, I want to show you how to run a descriptive statistics analysis, just a basic analysis, and uh, show you what data to look at once you've done that. So the easiest way to do this by far is to simply take that first uh, input file we created with this syntax and copy it into a new one and then edit that instead of having to recreate the title, data, variable, etc. Copy all those variable names, which is pretty tedious. Let's just um, let's just copy this right here. Control C, create a new file by clicking on this and just paste this in here. And now let's rename it and everything. So this is going to be called basics or you call it descriptives. Maybe I'll call it that. Uh, how about basic descriptives? Okay, and the file is still m plus vids. The names are still those. And instead of doing an analysis, oh, actually, and we're going to do analysis type is basic. So it's the same thing. It's just this time I'm going to walk you through the output and what it means um, and where to look. So that's it. Uh, for those who didn't watch the first video, make sure you go back and watch that first video on getting started, uh, so you know how to get to this point. Okay, once we save this. Um, let's see, call this uh, M plus uh, basics. Basic. There we go. Once we save that, we can run it, and we get the output. And this file is ginormous. Uh, it put a lot of stuff in here, and it does this text wrapping at 90 characters, which is really annoying. Um, and it gives you some redundant tables. Uh, I'll walk you through them very quickly, but um, really, if you want to get to the meat of it, just go to the very end of the document and scroll up a bit. Um, and this is the table you really need to look at. It's the final table in the output. Maybe we'll start here. Um, this is the univariate higher order moment descriptive statistics. So for every variable, such as play one, um, play two, play three, uh, it gives you how many usable characters we had. Um, ooh, it's not accounting for play four and play six's negative 99s. I'll have to figure that out. Hmm. You know, see here, um, you have uh, negative 99, and that was supposed to be a missing value. So I'll we'll have, we'll have to figure out a way to account for that. I'll bring that up in another video. Anyway, what we have here is uh, the mean for the sample, including, uh, so it's the mean over the, uh, not over the variance, but it's the mean first, and then it's the variance. You'll see for each variable, like play one, we have two values in each uh, column, or in each row. So this 2.73 is the mean, the number below it is the variance. Same applies over here when we're looking at skewness and kurtosis. The skewness is above, the kurtosis is below. Um, min and max, uh, all the same. So if you're running descriptive statistics and you want to look at um, skewness and kurtosis, which is what you would want to look at um, for norm normality issues, then this is where you look. Obviously, we're going to ignore this one since it is part of one of those uh, missing values of negative 99. So we're going to skip this row. And we're essentially looking for anything beyond the value of 3, uh, absolute value. Here's a 2, not something to worry about. Uh, another 2. Mm, more twos, ones. There are different published thresholds on skewness and kurtosis, um, with the largest I've ever seen being 10, uh, the lowest being 1, or there's actually an even stricter way where you divide the uh, value by its standard error, and uh, that's pretty strict. But we're going to be kind of lenient and just look for anything greater than the absolute value of uh, 3, plus or minus 3. And looks like we're good. Uh, the highest we were looking at was twos, except those um, two variables, playful four and six, which we had these uh, negative 99s for uh, representing missing values. So we're good. These are descriptive statistics. We can say our data is normal. Um, we have their means. Now, if you want to see all the rest of the stuff in this um, output, it's enormous. What we're looking at here is the correlation table, but it wraps and wraps and wraps and wraps. This whole thing is the correlation table. So not real convenient to work with, but if you wanted item level correlations, there you have them. And above that, if we go up one more, um, we have the covariances table, which is uh, similar to the correlations table. 
that's the whole covariance is stable, and then we get these means, which are repeated anyway down in the bottom table. And that's it. So that's how you do basic descriptive statistics in M+. Hope that was helpful.